As you can see, this question requires the binomial expansion, and they're asking us to find the first four terms. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to expand 1 plus ax power 5. So that would be 5c0 1 to the power of 5 plus with 5c1 1, 1 to the power of 4 multiply with ax plus with 5c2 1 to the power of 3 multiply with ax square plus with 5c3 1 to the power of 2 multiply with ax cubed. So when you put these into your calculator, you should get 1 plus 5ax plus 10 ax square plus 10 ax cube now I'm gonna rewrite it so that's 1 plus 5 a x plus 10 a square x square plus 10 a cube x cube I'm going to multiply this with 2 plus bx and that would be 2 plus bx plus with 10ax plus with 5abx square plus with 20a square x square plus with 10 a square b x cube plus with twenty a cube x cube plus with ten a cube b x four. So now I'm gonna compare it with this equation. So let me just rewrite that equation. So that's 2 plus 32x plus 210x squared plus cx. Now I'm going to use my equation and compare it with this equation. That is b plus 10a equals to 32. And for x squared, we have 5ab plus with 20a squared giving us 210 and for x cube we have 10a square b plus with 20a cube giving us c so now we're gonna answer the part of the question where they tell us to show that 3a squared minus 16a plus 21 equals to 0. So what I'm gonna do right now is just make b the subject. So that's 32 minus 10a. Then I'm going to substitute it into this equation. So I'm going to substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So that's 5a times with 32 minus 10a plus 20a squared equals to 210. So then I'm going to multiply this out. So that should give me 20a squared plus 160a minus 50a square minus 210 equals to 0 now I'm going to collect the like terms so that is minus 30a square plus 160a minus 210 now I'm going to multiply this equation with negative 1 over 10 and that would be 3a square minus 16 plus 21 
equals to zero. Now I'm going to put this into my calculator giving me a equals to 3 and a equals to 7 over 3. But we're just going to take a equals to 3 because the question says that a, b and c are integers. So since we have our a, we can now find our b. So b equals to 32 minus 10 times with 3 giving us 2. Since we found our a and b, we can now find our c. So our c is 10 3 square times with 2 plus 20 times 3 cube. And that would be... Uh, that is 180 plus with 20 times 27 which is 540 giving us 720 so now we have all our values so our a is 3 our b is 2 and our c is 720